Hey everyone, Andrew from Cursor, and today we'll be reviewing AMD's new FreeSync technology utilizing the LG UM67 34-inch ultra-wide monitor and Sapphire's Nitro R9 380 graphics card. First, let's start out with understanding what FreeSync technology is for anyone who doesn't know. AMD's FreeSync allows compatible graphics cards and monitors to dynamically change frame rates for the optimum display quality, eliminating image tearing and choppiness for effortlessly smooth gameplay. If you are unaware of screen tearing, it's a little bit like this. Screen tearing occurs when your monitor is fed more than one frame during the time it's refreshing the on-screen image. Vertical sync is a setting we typically see used to correct screen tearing by slowing your graphics card down to more accurately match your monitor's output. Unfortunately for fast paced games, vertical sync can have negative effects if rendering becomes too overwhelming, causing your output to pause in efforts to help your graphics card catch back up. And this is where the communication between the free syncing of the monitor and graphics card can take and exceed vertical sync. Screen tearing can happen in any type of game, but I typically notice it the most during racing games. With lots of high speed motion of the map flying by, objects being rendered quickly as terrain is traversed, screen tearing always seems to happen right on the horizon line. Luckily with FreeSync enabled, I can honestly say I didn't notice a single hiccup while playing. It made for the smoothest racing experience I've ever had. Obviously the experience was enhanced by the beautiful 34 inch LG display. The only caveat I have about it is that some of the games I tried while testing out this setup wouldn't play in the monitor's full resolution of 2560 by 1080. You can force any game to play in the full screen of the monitor, but you will be stretching it to do so. Outside from gaming, a monitor of this size also came into favor when working with Adobe products. Having an increased screen size helped allow for more space for sequences, timelines, tools, and more, which is an added bonus for any editors. As for the R9 380, the card performed well for most of the testing, running Dirt Rally, Grand Theft Auto V, and other like titles comfortably on high settings. With four gigs of RAM on the card, it has enough power to fit most gamers' needs at an affordable price. If you're more familiar with Nvidia cards, the 380 sits around the middle point of a 960. Overall, reviewing FreeSync as our main focus, the biggest thing I've noticed is how games run after the test. Things really smooth out nicely when you're using FreeSync. The minute I was off it, I could tell things lacked the polish and fluidity that FreeSync was enabling. If you are looking to enhance your experience while gaming, but are not fully sold on 4K gaming yet, FreeSync could be a good spot for you to try out for the time being. The overall difference is very noticeable and worthwhile if you are on the market for a new monitor or video card. Be sure to check out the list in the description to see if you have a FreeSync compatible video card already. Until next time, enjoy the game. If you like what you see, you're in luck. We're giving away a trio of graphics cards, including this one, and some of these great monitors. Head over to curse.com or check the link in the description to enter.